Hi guys and welcome to another Nexus 7 video. As you can see I have my beautiful Nexus 7 sat here and it is surrounded by a number of um, peripherals all with one thing in common. They all have USB ports and you may be asking the question why on earth is my Nexus 7 surrounded by USB ports when the Nexus 7 itself doesn't have a USB port. Well there is a solution to this and it comes in the form of one of these. This is a uh, USB OTG cable which means on the go and what it does is essentially uh, make your Nexus 7 compatible with some USB devices. So you plug the micro USB into the Nexus 7 as usual and then you can start using different items. And I'm going to go through uh, all these different uh, devices now and we'll see how the Nexus 7 copes with each one. So let's take a look at it. So the first test will be to use a simple normal USB uh, mouse which has five buttons and a mouse wheel. We'll plug it in and see what happens. So in goes the cable and we'll just zoom right in onto the Nexus and we'll start moving the mouse about. And as you can see there, uh, just pointing out on one of my widgets is the mouse. So as you can see I can use a mouse and I, the mouse wheel works because I can scroll up and down on these news articles. Unfortunately if uh, you're on a screen and use a mouse wheel it will just swipe back and forth. So. Uh, not the best compatibility there, but if I click onto a web browser and now we can uh, use the web browser as if I was using it on a uh, PC. We'll just go to the iPlayer just as a random test even though I know the iPlayer won't work. Uh, and again I'll use the mouse to scroll down and I'll use the right mouse button which in this case just executes a click. So I've clicked on BBC there with the right mouse button and it just goes to BBC One. Let's use the back button and see where that goes. And the back button takes us obviously back and we'll use the forward button. And the forward button doesn't seem to do anything. So the mouse does work uh, in a USB uh, form. Uh, not all the buttons are compatible. So a good start for the uh, OTG cable here. Let's move on to the next test. Right, we will up the stakes a little bit here and try a, a bigger piece of hardware which uh, presumably is going to try and consume a bit of power and is uh, more uh, complicated than a mouse. It's an Xbox uh, 360 wired controller. So we'll plug it in and see what happens. And that was fairly promising. I'm not sure I'm player two, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. And we are going to try it on a game called Deg Trigger, which uses a uh, controller whenever possible to play on the game and if the game works with the Xbox controller then we will consider this a successful test. So let's get straight in there and see what happens when I start moving about the controller and firing uh, weapons. And as you can see it works absolutely perfectly. I can move around, I can fire, I can aim, I can shoot, all the buttons seem to be uh, reacting. And so dead trigger now, I can play with a uh, game controller, which is uh, pretty good news. So the Nexus showing its flexibility there with just a simple purchase of one cable. Let's move on to something else now. So we're going to try a simple USB uh, stick to see if it can uh, cope as a file manager. Uh, so I'll plug it in and see what happens. So I've plugged it in and uh, we'll use uh, the file manager that I have, which is ES Explorer. Uh, it's showing all the Android stuff here, um, but I'm not sure, to be honest, uh, if I can go anywhere. It doesn't look as if I can go anywhere. So I only can see the local. doesn't seem to be an option to go to um, the USB uh, stick, which is a bit of a shame. Now, I'll be honest with you, I knew this wasn't going to work because uh, currently the Nexus 7 uh, cannot support external uh, memory uh, of any description, possible hard drives, uh, card readers or USB sticks. However, the good news is that I also know of a solution and it comes in the form of this. It is called Nexus Photo Viewer and it enables you to plug in uh, card readers and USB sticks uh, that are 
formatted to a FAT and FAT32 format in order to look at JPEG files and movies. It's still very early on in its development. Uh, so I'm going to do another video on all the full features of it, but just to demonstrate how we can use this uh, with an OTG cable, I'm going to install it, and then with any luck, it should work straight away. So we'll just go to the home screen, and all you need to do is plug in the cable with a USB uh, stick in there, and you will see... that the Nexus Photo Viewer application kicks in already, detects that you've plugged in a um, USB uh, stick, and then press OK. And as you can see now, I only put in a few pictures uh, to demonstrate really, but as you can see now, it's feeding directly off the memory stick. And then we can look at some pictures. Now there is a paid version of this, where you're able to take the... Um, files from the USB uh, stick and put them on the device itself, but I'm just showing you very quickly that it is, it is now possible to use um, USB sticks and card readers to look at uh, videos. And now we'll uh, test the card reader abilities as well. So this time I have plugged in a card reader with a micro SD card in there, and again, uh, the Nexus Photo Viewer has picked it up, and if I click OK, it will then search through the pictures I have, and I can scroll, I'm just showing you this time that I can scroll down, because there's a few more pictures on there, and uh, these pictures of when I went to Wembley to watch Huddersfield Town get promoted, and it was fantastic. Also on this SD card is a video, but I cannot play the video because this is a free version of the application, uh, and in order to watch a video, and indeed to get files off the Nexus 7, um, off the card reader onto the Nexus 7, I would have to buy the uh, Nexus Media Importer, uh, which is uh, the step up from the free version. So just to show you uh, very quickly that now you can look at media from card readers and USB port uh, sticks. The next test is to try and combine all of these uh, USB devices into one by using a USB hub. So I can plug in four USB devices into this, but will it work on the OTG cable? Let's uh, find out uh, right now. So in goes the uh, hub, and it's detected that fine. If I plug in the mouse, we'll see if that starts working, which it is. I'm not sure if you can see that. I will plug in now a USB stick and see if uh, PhotoView picks it up, which it does, so I'll use the mouse to select that, so now I'm using the mouse to look at these pictures, which is marvellous. And then the final test, to see if it can really handle a lot of USB devices, is to plug in the Xbox controller, which I will do right now. Bring this into view, for some reason it now thinks I'm player 3, it seems to be, I've been doing that all day, but never mind. It's worked so far, so we'll see now if this works. You can actually see that the mouse is still on the screen as well, as I'm loading. So it seems to be coping with everything perfectly fine here. And we'll just quickly load up again, and we'll get into there. And you'll see now that the Nexus 7 is quite an adaptable little beast. And there we are. You can now walk around. So I've got, well, three devices now plugged into. Although, just saying that now, I'm just testing it, and I think it crashed because the controller seemed to get jammed then, and I was walking forward, and it said that I'd uh, cause a problem. I wonder if it's because I was moving the mouse at the same time. Let's try that again. That's an interesting development. I wasn't expecting it to do that. I was expecting it to work, so we'll see what happens here. So I'm going to use the mouse this time and try not to use the controller at all and see what happens. So I'm just trying to, yes, I think if you use a mouse and a controller at the same time, it causes it to crash. So, there's a tip for you. Do not plug in a mouse and a controller at the same time. 
In fact, if you look at it now, it's completely crashed my Nexus 7, which is the first time the Nexus 7 has crashed at all. So, a good demonstration here that you probably shouldn't put in two um, devices which uh, can do movement controls at the same time, or else you're in a bit of trouble. So, what I will do here now is unplug the mouse, and we will test that again and see if it works. Again, it's picking up that I've plugged in the USB, but I don't want to do that at the moment. And we'll try dead trigger again. So, live test here. Which is always nice. So we still have the plug, uh, the hub plugged in, and we still have a USB stick plugged in. So the two devices plugged in, just not the mouse this time. And we'll see if this time we get any errors. Seems to be working fine this time. I can move about, and I can shoot zombies to my heart's content without any concerns of it crashing, or indeed crashing the uh, tablet at all. So there we are, a good demonstration here. I will leave myself to get eaten by zombies and say to you that with an OTG cable, uh, which costs uh, in the region of about $2, uh, that's about £1.50 from the Amazon uh, store, and very cheap, and it enables you to use plenty of things uh, on your Nexus 7. I've been eaten to death. You've been watching an Nexus 7 video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon in another one.